Hi, yes, it is I, Dev, uh, the, the funny Roblox man. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to be explaining how to make a door that opens on proximity, because that is scripting challenges, which is something in my Discord server. And Terra Unim, or Terrarium, <laughs> Uh, has challenged me to do it. So I've already got a basic door set up with a script which I emptied. So I kind of tried doing this, but I was interrupted. So let's start. First naming this door is gonna make stuff easier. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be explaining in detail how pretty much everything works, like all of the basic stuff. If I have to go into more complicated stuff like tables, uh, I'm not gonna take the time to explain it. But, um, I definitely will if I make a tutorial about it or something. So if you're not interested in hearing all uh, how all that shit works, get the fuck out of here, okay? I'm not- I'm not gonna teach people who just want to copy-paste. Uh, I'm not here to give people- to give scripts away. I'm here to help you learn how to script, and I'm gonna dumb everything down as much as I can. So first of all, I was making this kind of organized. So, let's get the services here. And then I'm gonna put the variables here. Variables, if you haven't read, variables, if you don't know, are basically a way of, like, making shortcuts. So, for example, now I don't really need to, but if I wanted to get the base plate, and I don't want to type every single time a uh, game dot workspace dot base plate, I would do, like, every line if I want to get the base plate multiple times. I wouldn't, instead of just typing the same three words at the same time, I would do, like, base, well, local base equals uh, game dot workspace dot base play. And then, just to show you how it works, I'm gonna do print, which is gonna print it in the output, base dot name, just to prove you that it works. So, instead of having to type print uh, game.workspace.baseplate.name, I just have to do base.name. So this is very useful. This is a very nice. So if I go in the output now, it should say, give it a minute, just say baseplate. There we go. So that works. So, okay. What we're gonna do though, is not this. So first of all, I'm gonna get the twin service. If I explain what the tween service does, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, so the tween service actually is uh, is actually probably one of my favorite services since it's so useful. It allows to smoothly transition numbers from one from one thing to another. So like, if I told the tween service I wanted to move this part to like another point. Normally, without the tween service, you probably just move its position, and it would teleport instantly. With the tween service, however, you can just tell it, you can just give it the part, give it the position you want it to have, and then it's gonna move that part smoothly all the way to the position, and you can change a bunch of stuff with that. You can change the color, you can change the transparency, you can change, like, different, uh, f like, uh, settings in on different stuff. You, you can use it for like a ton of stuff. You can use it for it's it's so useful. Okay um, And for the variables, let's see so I want to I don't think I'll actually need any variables for now uh, Not on this. So there are two ways I can go about this. I can loop through every player and check if they're near the door Well, actually Should I actually do that? Okay, so I'm gonna do a while loop Every 0.5 seconds, the script is going to run the code inside of this while loop. So, let's see. What should I check? I think I'm gonna do a for loop. So this is like table stuff. I, it's gonna take too long to explain if I do if I try to do in this video. So I'm not gonna bother with it. Uh, get children. Do. So basically, if I explain this simply, this is gonna uh, go in the players and loop through every single player it can find. So I would be the number of like the number of the, the player. 
like how like far it is in line like would and v would be the player itself so uh, i could make the simpler simpler by the is saying is saying uh and oh shit wait i activated my auto clicker yeah that, that i think that's gonna be better it doesn't necessarily to be need to be iv but it's index value which is a bit easier to type than order player for example but okay so every time it's gonna check i should variables first variable we're gonna add or distance there's a spider on the wall okay let me just uh spider on the wall okay local so we're gonna say the distance i'm gonna put it at 50. Okay, if player.character dot humanoid root part dot okay wait wait this is gonna be a bit trickier because I don't exactly remember how to do this. Oh boy, wait. Uh, wait, I'm probably gonna have to check in the dev forums for this. Uh... Okay. So, how do I use magnitude? Wait, I could actually just check the... Oh my god. Dev hub. How do I use magnitude again? I forgot. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to censor here. Oh, uh, there's a lot of personal stuff. Oh boy. I got another ping, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna check magnitude. That's not what I'm looking for, what? Um, if I remember, magnitude is like the distance between two points. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm just, okay. So. Not humanoid root. So the humanoid root part is basically the base of the character. That gets deleted. The character just flops on the floor and dies. It's kind of like... What the care? You know, it's basically what the humanoid like uses to shoot to decide what, what how high the character is positioned. But um, humanoid root part dot. So we know if there's no humanoid that way, like hackers can't get through. We know if there's no humanoid root part, they can't even move anyways. Players that character that humanoid root part of the position minus in minus in second variable. So script dot parent. The parent of the script is a door. Yes. I could just have done script dot parent dot position, but it's faster this way anyways. Dot mag is I forgot my operators again. God damn it. Well anyways. I'm just gonna try one at random. No, wait, let me just try this. And so first of all, I'm gonna get the default door position. I'm gonna need this to put the tween back to make it move back. So this will not be changed because it's not in the loop. Oh my god, someone's coming downstairs. Uh, so yeah, this won't be changed because this is not in the loop. So then if I just, um, uh, wait, my brain's shutting down. 
what do I do again? I forgot. Why why am I why am I dumb? Okay. Um For some reason I like stopped my brain just stopped working. Okay, wait, let me just get the position of the door when it will be open. I'm gonna make it sliding because I don't wanna Okay. Should I just make it bouncy too? Twin service create door. Now I'm gonna create a new tween info. I, I could just put the time, but I do want to add an easing style because it's fun. I'm gonna make it bouncy. And now this is what you want to change with the thing you gave the tween service. So for the door, I just want to change its position. So. And then I'm gonna make it play. So now, I should probably tune this down. So now, the distance. Now, normally, technically speaking, this should work. So we're gonna test it. So the door's over there. Oh, I misspelled something. God damn it. There. Let's play here instead. Attempt to index nil with humanoid root part. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little trick here, sneaky trick. I'm gonna have the script wait for the, 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 the player. I don't think this will work since the character isn't a child, but it's worth a shot. Otherwise, I have a little trick up my sleeve. Oh, no, it actually worked. What? But yeah, okay, let's see if it works. No. What's wrong here? Okay. Let's put a... a kind of cooldown variable then. Oh, oh, maybe I got this wrong, actually. Let's try it now. No, nothing. This might be harder than I thought. Okay, let let me do some uh, some a bit of a de debugging here. Should I put it back to 50? I'm gonna put it back to 50. Oh, that's done. Come on. Come on.
So it runs the loop, but it apparently I don't think it finds the character. So yes, that 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 code did not work. So I'm gonna have to do it in another way. Game dot char equals game dot workspace wait for child player. Now this is really cool. I find this really cool because okay, so when you're you're running something like wait for child, you can just give them a string, which is the those green this green text here, which is in between these symbols. But you can also give it the name of an instance by writing the name of the instance and the dot name. So that means if player, okay, so we have player here. Our player is going to be uh, the player that the loop is running on currently. Okay. And then char is going to look into workspace and it's going to wait to find something with the exact name of this player, which is the character. And no, it's not going to show the display name, which is the best part, because display names aren't actually the name of the characters. So that's really, really useful. I really like that feature. Okay, let's try again. I put the, the, the symbol back to how it was before, because unable to cast a dictionary. So it was in range, but it looks like something happened. Did I make some? Did I do something wrong here? Door to an info using city on that using style bounce. Position. Oh, I'm. Okay. Sorry. So this should make it open. All I have to do next is make it close, which is going to be pretty much the opposite of that. So this, yeah, that it worked. It's just the only problem is that it's running instantly. That's too fast. So let's see. Okay, if I walk closer. Yes, it works. Okay, now all we have to do is. Uh, so this is the value we're checking. So here. Okay, so now, else if, so. Weird, why is it doing this? Okay. Oh yeah, right, right, because it's doing the exact same thing. But now I'm going to do the opposite, and then I'm going to change the tween service. I'm going to run the exact same tween, except I'm going to change it to to the, the variable we set earlier, which is door pause. And now this door should work. Let's see. It opens and it closes. Haha, <laughs> nerd. There you go. Tara, I told you this was easy. Easy.